Congratulations, everybody. You made it back. What's good? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Crypto After Dark. Professor Keith here. Some call me Carolina Keith. Some just call me Keith. I'm fine with all those, including Simp. I kind of prefer Simp because it's kind of what I am. You know what else I noticed? Um, our last few streams, I wore headphones, and I don't need to wear headphones. I don't need to wear headphones. I don't need to be able to hear myself. I can just talk. Doesn't need to have them. I don't need to have them on. Why do I have them on? I think because I want to hear myself echo. That's why I wear them. I think I'm going to put them back on. You know what? I'm going to go with what works, right? And I can hear. Yeah. Okay. See, now I can hear the feedback. That's why I do it. Because I want to hear the feedback. Makes sense. All right. Oh, shit. Sweet. So glad to see everybody. Let's do some charting tonight. Um, I got Bitcoin I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm not going to talk about the coin you see on the screen here, but I wanted to have it up here for everybody to be able to see it uh, because that's what people want to see, apparently. Uh, but I don't want to talk about it because I said I wouldn't anymore. So well, let's get into what we're going to be talking about here, which is Bitcoin. You've seen the thumbnail. What does the thumbnail mean? Well, some people have asked, including people on Twitter and everywhere else, Hey, man, what's Bitcoin doing? What's going on here? Is it, is it a buy yet? Is the knife hitting the floor? What's going on? We're going to get into that and talk about it a little bit. Then we're going to go over the rest of the market as we see it. And whatever we come up with, we're going to say, hey, this is how we see it, man. And if we don't see it that way, we're going to fucking walk away. Who all's in here? Let's go say hey to everybody. First, right off the bat, I see Andrew for you. That's my good friend, Andrew. And he says, I don't know, dude. I can't say it like Andrew, but that's as close as I can get. <clears throat> uh, no, 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 dude. That's as close as I can get to saying it like Andrew says it. So you guys will hear it in Vegas. <laughs> um, who else we got? Dave Mitt. <clears throat> he said, first, good to see you, bro. Big country. Frank, to see you, brother. Ashley Vandermeer, one of the queens. Mullet says, busy day tomorrow. Moving. Catch you next time. No problem, Mullet. Thank you, brother. We're going to be golfing soon. I need you to get right. Gauthier, good to see you, John P. Shorty Goose, mine. That's an awesome name. Martin, rug. Oh, bro. What's up, my friend? He says, let's go. Good to see you, brother. Bernie Callahan, good sup, sup, dude. Corey, as always. Juan Pablo, good to see you. Existence, negative one degree outside. This bourbon is keeping me warm. Oof, negative one. Big Dex, good to see you. Million Shakespeare, yeah, let's do this, he says. Educated dummy and miseducated dummy in the house. Good to see y'all. Mark D, what's up? Thor's Hammer, what's up? All right. Um, the mayor, good to see you. Mark Brialis from Australia, bro. What's up up there in the outback? Uh, pretty freaking crazy over there, dude. <laughs> Ronan, good to see you. Ignacio Cervantes. Good to see you, brother. Tiffany Nelson, one of the queens. What's up? Uh, Millionaire Shakespeare says, I just noticed the cat. <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty funny, I thought. The fucking grumpy cat. Raging Beagle, good to see you, Bill Esh. Danny Deep Deep Pockets Carney. He was over there yesterday on the uh, Bourbon and Blockchain stream. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, Agent Tiki, good to see you. That's a cool name. Is this 8 p.m. Pacific time? It surely is. Surely is. Sardonic, good to see you. Kopi Burnett, that's a dope name. Mootloo, what's up? Pepper. Ship Stacks, that's a cool name. Uh, what's up, Nick? What's up, Rugsy? How about, by the way, I talked shit to Andrew last time, and I was like, yeah, millennials go to bed at like 9 o'clock. Well, here he is. He's up, and that's awesome. I was not expecting him to be on here. Uh, he'll be asleep in a minute, though. Trust me. He was going to like, okay, so Wednesday, we both pulled up to the same place, and he was like, I'm going to get out. He told me he was going to do this. He's like, I'm going to get out and record Keith and send it to the Discord and say, this is why millennials go to bed on time because <laughs> I was in the truck passed out in the parking lot <laughs> i just happened to hear him pull up <laughs> oh lord jim monroe what's up big country again uh all right james jim slim shady good to see you tom all right enough of that if you haven't done so yet real quick like um go hit like everybody we had almost 100 likes last time that was awesome i'd like to see 100 likes for the first time ever we've had 100 people on the stream multiple times in a row the more we hit like and the more people who subscribe and the more people who hit the notification bell, 
we get put into a Google algorithm and it pushes us up to the top of the list and more people will see it. Okay. The more people who see it, the bigger we can get, the more cool shit we can do. Okay. Now, as we said, what's Bitcoin doing? Well, let's go in first and just do the simple things right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> rug put going hard in the tank. What's up? Let's go. <laughs> Optimistic Matt. Good to see you, brother. Mr. House deal for you. That's a dope name. Right off the bat, what do I see with Bitcoin? Well, I saw a hammer candle form what looks to be about a week ago. And after that hammer candle formed, we've had no upward movement of any significant amount. What do I mean by that? Let's dig a little deeper here. <clears throat> what I mean by a hammer candle is this. Okay. I have a very small, or not a very small, but a small body, a very large wick on the bottom. The candle is green. And there's little to no candle on the top. That's a hammer candle. Okay. Typically, this means that the chart is going to work its way back up. What we've seen here is just sideways. In fact, it's still under the AEMA, not doing much. Last stream, I believe this was sneaking into being an early buy. Um, as you see, it didn't happen. It ended up failing and going back under the AMA and didn't do what we wanted to see it do. And this is another proof, perfect example of why we don't want to just play with the AMA. We like the 21 EMA, which is the purple line as well. Okay. Why do I have the green box drawn? Well, I don't know. I get drunk sometimes and I draw boxes on charts and I can't remember everything. No. Nah. <laughs> not true at all so the pivot line goes right in that square right there we've yet to break into this upper part of the pivot which would put us into bullish trading just hasn't happened yet so until that gets over that which just so happens to be the same place as the 21 ema we're not going to get that upward movement that we want even if it does get over the ema it has to break this box and hold the box to prove to me that it wants to get up and go now. If we look a far, if we look a little bit farther back, we've talked about this a bit before, and we look at our fib retracement. Start from the back, work our way up to the top here. We see that we came right down here to our sniper's alley area. We bounced off of it very cleanly, but we failed to get over the 68. Why does that matter? Well, we want to see it break into the next range here. We can break into this range, then we can test this range. We can break into this range. Hey, we're making an uptrend pretty pretty well off here now. Let's assume for a moment that this was the bottom. I don't like to assume, but I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So we start at the top. We pull to the bottom. What do we see here? The 236 line has yet to break. In fact, the pivot and the 236 line are almost exactly together. Hasn't happened. Once that does happen, it'll go into this range between this 236 and 382. Yet to get that, until we get that, we're stuck. What would the rest of the market do if Bitcoin did this? Well, it's kind of complicated to say that's a bit crystal ballish, but let's dig in. <clears throat> we see Bitcoin dominance trending upward. Yes, it slipped into the wait a minute zone. If we look at the other indicators, we see the MACD is rolled over. Not great. RSI still above 50, but rolling over. Not great. We pull up the pivots. What do we see? We're over the pivot line, which is this blue line right here. We're under R1. Kind of stuck. Looks as though it, it's going to hang out right here above the pivot. And if that can happen, Bitcoin dominance can take another run up. The 50 fib right here hasn't broken yet. That's the green box. This green box breaks. Then we're going to get more Bitcoin dominance, up more toward 45 to 46%. If it doesn't break, we're going to get more Bitcoin drop in dominance. What does that mean for Bitcoin in the market? Well, Bitcoin dominance dropping just means money's coming out of Bitcoin. It could be going to other things, okay? Lately, it's been going into stable coins. Those stable coins have continued to gain market cap because of that, and the market cap gets higher and higher and higher. Because people get out of their positions once they realize they're losing money and they get into a stable which they think can't lose money. Well, it may lose some percent, but it's not gonna move, it's not gonna move anything like these other cryptos. Okay. It may move a percent or a half a percent or something like that. No big deal. But it ain't gonna move hundreds of percent or fifty percent or anything like that. Okay. That's the beauty of stable coins. Let's look at those real quick. Here's USDC 
as you see it ran up and hit one of the take profit zones actually hit two of the take profit zones smacked 1414 perfectly and came back down bouncing around the ADMA over the 21 though okay MACD is rolled over RSI is rolled over not great we had the pivots pulled up a second ago there so you can see them again pivots did shift way up here which is roughly the 21 EMA stable coins continue to trend upward even if this fails and goes down here this 21 EMA and starts flirting around with falling under the pivot then it's going to come back down to major support where's major support at 2.3 percent that would be 2.8 2.3 stable coins have had a hell of a run here all right um we need to see them fail big time. <laughs> and that means that money's coming out of stable coins and going somewhere else, which would typically be back into crypto because most people are reinvestors. USDT still in sniper's alley. Hasn't broken out yet. Close, but no cigar trying its best. It is back over the AEMA and it's just sitting on top of it right now, but it's dead under seven, eight, six. Let's go to our other indicators and have a glance at them and see what they see. Yep, similar situation here where you've got the same amount of pressure on MACD pulling it down. Uh, RSI, you do have some some the bullish divergence here. Okay, uh, not a whole lot though. It's just kind of a little bit short sighted here. It kind of looks like this wants to keep coming up to me, uh, and it's just building a little bit of strength. It may need some time to build that strength, but kind of looks like Tether wants to get going too. Um, if that happens, you're going to see more money come out of the out of the coins and go back into stables. I wish it were different. It's not. Um, let's see. Green over purple, though. Right. It looks to be forming a head and shoulders. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure which one you mean. I think the opposite of a big head and small. But <laughs> Brother Frank. Uh, hey, there been there. Triple digit like. Hope you're doing well. Nice, bro. Good to see people. I like seeing people in here, man. Some of these, some of you guys are OGs. You've been around for a really, really long time. That's awesome to see. QNT chart says Thor's hammer. Can I see QNT? Or can you? Sure, why not? There was a couple other coins that people asked me to mod. Oh, shit. SNX or is it SHX? It's SHX. Someone asked me to do it. XXH. Gosh. He asked me, and I said I would do it, and I, I forget who it was. Yes, HX. Who done power? That's not it. Sonomax Technologies? That's not it. Ah, damn it, I can't remember. I'll just send it to you privately, whoever you were. I remember you talking to me about it, but I had so many messages lately that I can't remember exactly what it was. Just message me privately again, and I'll talk to you about it. Um... I know someone asked me to look at PYR SNX. Okay, SNX. My fault. My fault. Yep, there we go. SNX. Let's do this one first. Let's take this off. That's been validated. Under the pivot, not great. I do like the fact that it's over the 8 and the 21. The problem is it's trying to break the 21 back downward now, and it failed to make a higher high. It actually made a lower high after making a lower low. This is all still downtrend until it breaks. You can pull the trend line on this and see it very clearly. Very clearly, as a matter of fact. And this does not look great for the home team. It's doing absolutely nothing here except going farther and farther and farther down the rabbit hole. Don't like that look. That doesn't look great. Because of this, I'd absolutely say no on this until you see much more confirmation. Um, I need to see it. Improve it. Yes, it went over and turned turned the right direction, and that was good. It tried. It failed the pivot, though, and it made a lower high. I don't like that lower high at all. That doesn't look good. Existence, bro, five bucks. He says, I can't believe I haven't seen you pour a drink yet. Well, let's just do it out the bottle. How about that? I might have forgotten to wash my whiskey glasses before we got in here because I had a stupid busy day, bro. Cheers. Let's get it. Good old JD number seven fire. Pretty good, dude. Oh, Nate Lambeau says, or a second drink, matter of fact. I accept your challenge, sir. How about some JD number seven honey? And we shall. Let's 
shit's smooth though, dude. Good stuff. Um, I got some high proof stuff here. I'm gonna shy away from the high proof stuff. Why? Well, I got a busy day tomorrow. <laughs> And I got to work with Andrew, and I don't want to make him have to do everything because I don't think that would be cool. So I'm going to try not to drink the super high proof stuff. I'm going to stick to the lower proof stuff tonight instead of dying. Do one of those candy shooter balls. Oh, Brett. Got you. Um, let's see. I got strawberry. Yeah, let's do a strawberry one. Oh, uh, look at there. Danny Carney said, hey, y'all, check out this link right here. This is Keith's TA classes. Check it out. Click on it. All right. So here's some important stuff. It's 15 minutes, and that's exactly why I stopped when I did. Oh, by the way, we're back over 107 people. We got 59 likes. If y'all would go hit like real quick, um, the more likes we get, the higher up the bump, up, bump us up into the algorithm. Uh, go click like and subscribe and all that good jazz. That'd be awesome. Um, it takes 20 minutes. What takes 20 minutes? I'm drunk. I don't remember what it takes 20 minutes, bro. Thanks, Keith. You're looking at PXT. Y'all look at PXT. Uh, no, I will not look at that one time because <sighs> that's on deck screener, and I'm trying to avoid everything on deck screener right now. Uh, thank you, cleaning lady. Mm. This is a little stouter. A little less strawberry taste and a little bit more punch in the face, right? Whoo. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Andrew said it takes 20 minutes to do our job. Uh, you're exactly right. Hey, what's up, Wayne Queensberry? Good to see you, brother. He says, I just came in, guys. We know we already have covered BDC. I still think we're going to see a double bottom. Correct. I think we have more down. 92% of his positions are longs. Uh, exchanges in Wales, we're going to go in where the money is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of people are going to get wiped out really hard here. I don't think the liquidations are over. Uh, my fault, Andrew. I realize what you're talking about now. Uh, yeah, so some important news here. I'm officially 100% not going to be going to regular work anymore. Um, I managed to kick the can down the road a little bit on that uh, for quite a while, and I pushed it off, and I said I was going to do it, and I didn't do it. Well, officially today, Two-week notice is put in, so there'll be absolutely no more corporate job. It's 100% me now uh, and 100% the assassins. Uh, I'll be dependent on people, yes. A lot of it will be me, uh, but we do this together. It's not just me sitting out here doing it by myself. It's a group. It's a team. And because I have a great team behind me, great things happen, okay? I'm able to come out here and do this and say this shit on the screen and all this other stuff, and that's cool. <clears throat> but it happens because... There's a great team, okay? One soldier doesn't win the war. It takes a whole fucking army to come in and do their thing, all right? That's y'all. I super appreciate everybody. I wouldn't be able to do what I do if it wasn't for the whole group of everybody. And it, it makes me super happy. It's a big risk. Like I was talking to him today. You know, it kind of has that feeling like I'm jumping off the cliff with a parachute, hoping the parachute opens. But at some point, don't you have to take risk in your life and bet on yourself? And I feel like this is one of them times where I just have to bet on myself. Another guy told me one day, you know, when you can make a year's salary every month, then you're good enough to be able to work on your own and not have to worry about anything else, okay? I do that pretty well and pretty easily now. So if that's the case, then what am I doing, right? Why, do I, why haven't I already bet on myself? We've been talking amongst the admins and talking in the Zooms and talking with on the unlimited chat Zooms about doing this already. I just didn't do it yet. So now it's time. Um, I'll be 100% in crypto or retired, however you want to put that. It's not really retirement. I don't look at it as retirement. I look at it as working for myself and doing my own business. If you're wondering what the business is, it's 786unlimited.com. Would you like to have a gander at it? Sure, why not? 786unlimited.com. You can book your private private consults here. Got a ticker going on. I'm going to continually update the website, make it a little nicer here and there, and do different things. Here's our Discord. You can join the Discord for free. The general chat, the general chat, the live streams, and one other group are still totally free. If you want access to the other ones, you'll have to go to the Patreon. What's the Patreon? Well, if you scroll down a little farther, 
Here's our Patreon page. You can click on it. Click on the Patreon page, and you got two different levels, $8 and $16. $8 gets you about 75% access. $16 gets you 100% access to everything except the admin channel, which is only for the admins. Okay? You get unlimited Zoom. You get unlimited chat. You get to come on the Zooms with us every Thursday after the stream and shoot the bull. Ask any questions you want to. Feel free to talk to me about anything you want to talk to me about. I also post all my portfolio moves in that unlimited chat. I pin them up so everyone can see them. Um, I'm fully transparent about what I do. This is all look upable on Google. You can Google all this stuff and find out who I am and where I'm from. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one consult, right here's the page to do it, okay? You can go to the Calendly page and pick a time to do it. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I'm fully booked up. I'm not going to open up any new classes for at least a couple weeks. But when I do open up the new classes, the Patreon page will get, the Patreon page, the Discord page will get first dibs on grabbing one of the new times, okay? Then I'll put it out for everyone else to come in and try, okay? These only book out 90 days in advance. I only do them 90 days in advance for a reason because people are having a hard time remembering when their classes are and reschedule them is a total pain in the ass, okay? So, 90 days out, get your time, get in while you can. If you can't, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. I can't guarantee anything if you don't get in there and book it, okay? Okay, that's enough about me. Also, by the way, we have all of our live streams here. They pop up on the channel. All of them right there, you can get in there. I'll be putting blog stuff up. I haven't put a post up yet, but I will. And you can also subscribe to the channel by doing this on the Unlimited page. And I have your email, and I can send out email links if you'd like. I don't want to spam people, so I haven't done that yet. So if you've, if you've subscribed to the website, I haven't put anything on the website yet on the blog, but I will be, okay? I'm going to be doing it much more now that I have more time, okay? That's enough of that. Let's get back to the charts. Back to SNX. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And since it didn't make a higher high, no thanks. Let me write down what you guys asked about charts so I can go back and look at them. Hold on a minute. I missed some stuff in there. Juno. Okay. You already know. Um, ENZC. Never heard of that one before. Um, FFF. That's you. Food Farmer Finance. I like that. KNC. We can do that one. No problem. Um, what else we got here? Bunch of people saying congratulations. Thank y'all. Uh, if it wouldn't have been for people like Danny Carney, Frank, Nick, Terry, Ken, KG. I'm forgetting people because I'm already buzzed. Um... Gosh, all the admins, man. Listen, dude, it's been a fight. It's been a fight to get here. It makes me emotional talking about it, so I try not to talk about it too much. David, when I don't chart that one on the live streams anymore, that one is specific. That one is specific to the Discord channel because that community is toxic, brother. And because that community is toxic, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Welcome, Shy Town. Good to see you, brother. Land Shark, okay? Got you. Um, Cosmos, okay. Uh, UFO. S spin, okay. Spin. Cheers to the OGs. Yeah. So, China Matt, thank you, China Matt, bro. China Matt's been one of the major ones. Dude, that dude's a boss, man. You know, there's some people in the world that are good with numbers. That's China Matt. Don't fuck with him when it comes to numbers, dude. Just shut up and listen to what he says because he's probably right. Whenever you find someone who's smarter than you, listen to them because you have something to learn. And if you don't want to learn, <clears throat> if you don't want to learn from them, that makes you ignorant, okay? Don't be ignorant. Osmo, XTZ. Don't be ignorant. It's okay to be dumb because, you know, people do dumb things sometimes. It's not okay to be ignorant because when you're ignorant, you refuse to listen and you refuse to learn. And we don't want to do that. MGI. All right. Gold and silver. Got you, Pepper. XAU. XAG. Adam. Yeah, we already got Cosmos. Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hydra. Um, I don't know if we should chart Ohm or not. Should we chart Ohm? Fuck it. We'll do it one last time. See what happens when I get a little bit of drink in me? 
I get a little bit of drink in me. I stop caring what we chart and I stop having, um, I start have, I stop having inhibitions. My inhibitions go away. That's the, that's the, the number one thing I've noticed. I was talking to Andrew about this today. I lose my inhibitions and I also lose my volume. I get louder and louder and louder and louder. So I'm trying to learn to control my volume a little bit. Um, Joe, thank you. That was one of them that someone asked me to do earlier and I almost forgot. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, Joe. I was listening to Jimi Hendrix on the way home. What you got at that gun in your hand? Dude, this shit's a banger, bro. Hey, Joe is one of the best songs. You know, Watchtower was wrote by Bob Dylan, not Jimi Hendrix, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know that. 121 people watching. That's awesome, dude. Good to see everybody. Joe, uh, you know, this looks a lot like some other charts we've seen where it looked like a good-to-go chart, but then it bounced off the pivot and failed. And when it failed, it failed the pivot. At the same time, I bet you, yep, indicators are kind of sideways. So I'd be careful here on Joe. This kind of looks like just a straight sideways chart to me. And if that's the case, I'm going to shy away from it. I don't want to buy that just yet. So we'll say no go yet on Joe. MGI, that's MoneyGram. Okay. Whew, MoneyGram doing its damn thing. It jumped up there and... Okay, we got some buy pressure coming in here and it looks to be making a lower high. Let's get rid of this. So let's just delete all this stuff. Although it went exactly where we thought it would go. Let's just get rid of all that stuff because people like to talk shit to me and tell me that I don't know what I'm doing, uh, which is awesome. I appreciate the, I appreciate the competitive banter, but fuck those guys. Yeah, I said it. Uh, thank you. Electric Ken. Electric Ken's been one of the bad dudes in the background too. Thank you, sir. Corey, one of the badasses in the background. Thank you, brother. All right. So, MoneyGram's hitting right at the golden pocket, right at the golden pocket between 618 and 786, and it's dead in there right there. But the problem is it did it in the wrong direction. It got stuck there. Because it's stuck there, it appears to be about to, yeah, we got some bearish divergence on the RSI. That's not great. Looks like it's rolling over and playing dead. I'll be very careful on MoneyGram. It's going to be a no from me, big dog. Casper. Looks like it's texting him. Oh, Ron Rogers. Yes, I sent those miners. I'm just waiting on confirmation that they've gone out and done their thing. That was the guy who won the, uh, he just texted me. The guy who won the uh, strong node in the miners just texted me and asked me, did the miners get there? Believe it or not, I had trouble with the mail and still hasn't got sent out like it's supposed to, right? Already sent them. Surely to God, they're gone now, okay? Surely to God. If they're not, I'll continue to work with him and get them out. He's got his strong tokens. Don't worry about that part. That part's done. Um. Let's go to Casper, CSPR, CFPR, USD. Casper token. Uh, Casper is short as shit. It's one of the, it looks just like Bitcoin, as a matter of fact. So, although the indicators show up and show some bullish divergence, I have no proof yet. I need to see this break 009 or, you know, really, I need to see it go 10 cent first. Break 10 cent and hold on Casper, and then you got it proven to me. But until then, no thank you. XTZ, let's pound, let's pound through these. Because I wrote down a lot of them already. Um, Tezos. So Tezos has been a hella, un, hella underperformer. Hella, hella, hella. I got to download Paramount back on my phone so I can watch the new South Park episode. Me and Andrew were talking about that today. I'm feeling left out that I have it. Well, we'll watch it. In, Andrew, if you're still on here, we'll watch it in the morning. Most likely you're not because millennials go to bed at like 9.30. Or like, you know what? Millennials go to bed at like 7.30. Most likely you're not on here. So if you are on here, we'll watch South Park tomorrow. I like that as a plan. Tezos hasn't broken this trend line yet. And because it hasn't broken this trend line yet, it immediately gives me pause. Look at that. No, no thank you. Even though the indicators have turned a little bit positive and you got the 821 cross about to happen, it hasn't happened yet, and it's failing the pivot just like Joe. Okay? Because of that, no thank you. Um, Sister19LL, online, good to see you. 
Hey, real quick, let's jump through here real quick. Joe, La, Joe LaClassy, good to see you. Uh, Nate Lambo, Jason Russell, good to see you. Ryan Rogers, what's up, dude? Uh, so dope winning something like this from this channel. Oh, that's Ryan that won. Awesome, bro. Good to see you. Over my career, I've seen many coworkers retire with pride, respect them a lot, working their entire life. Honestly, during their younger, doing their best. Congrats, Keith. We'll get our retirement retirement as well. Absolutely, bro. Interestingly enough, Vegas is going to kind of be like a retirement party for a lot of us. And I don't want people to get discouraged. What I want you to understand about that is when we go to Vegas and you see a bunch of guys there who live off of crypto, I don't want you to think you can't do this wrong if i can do it you can do it without getting emotional and tore up or stuff like that you can do it too please understand me when i say you can be me i'm a nobody from nowhere special okay just because i got on a dope just because i got it on a dope 786 assassin shirt that you can get on redbubble.com forward slash carolina keith doesn't mean i'm not a normal dude okay i'm just like you i worked a nine to five a really, really long time, okay? Almost 40 years old now, and I worked my whole fucking adult life to try to get where I'm at. It wasn't easy, okay? This was a hard grind, but we're here now. And now we touch tips like real gay men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I give myself an applause for that stupid joke. All right, yeah, XTZ is still a no. So let's get into Q&T. Um, it's trying, trying, got two over the eight. Perfect. It's over the pivot. I like this one a little better. Okay. This one actually looks better than most. It just needs to confirm it. It can hold here over the pivot. It needs to hold 125 flat, hold 125 flat, man. That'd be amazing. Then QNT could be one of the first ones to show us that it wants to get going. You see the trend line here. It hasn't broken it in a really long time. Break that trend line after you get over this pivot and hold it. You're over the pivot now. Hold it. 125. Hold here, and we're good to go on Q&T. So I'm going to circle this one as a maybe, and I'm going to put a star beside it because that's a maybe. Juan Maciedo. What you drinking tonight, bro? I'm drinking straight out the bottle. Motherfucking cup, like Lil John said. What are we going to have after you just tipped me? Uh, Ten bucks. Thank you, Juan. We're going to give that away. Um... Let's have let's have a little moonshine. You know what? I said fuck it. You know, Tony, Tony the motherfucking node savage just dropped a hundred bucks. Thank you, Tony, bro. You're the fucking man, Tony. So I just broke out the mason jar. And uh this is some good old South Carolina moonshine right here. Um this is how we do it in the South, by the way. I'm from the home of the moonshine. I'm from the home of Home of Moonshine. Uh, I wanted to sing the Georgia song there for a second, but I didn't. Cheers, uh, cheers, Juan Monsanto. God Almighty! <sighs> what Southern asshole decided this was the stuff that we're gonna make and sell and drink because we're badasses? Oh my God! Retirement party, giving it forward for the next giveaway. Thank you, Tony, bro. We're going to give away. A, we're going to do it big next time, dude. I'm going to talk to the admins and the admin chat separately. I want to get with Steven because he mentioned it, and I want to get with Draco, and he mentioned it, and I want to do something fucking amazing, okay? I don't know that we can continue to do live. We can continue to do the giveaways like we did before now that it's a business and not not personal, but we'll work something out. Don't worry. Um, I want to do something badass, though. I want to, like, I want to change people's lives for fucking real, man. I don't want it just to be like, hey, we gave some people some money. I want to change lives for real. I want to make somebody who would have never had a chance have a chance, okay? And I want that person to be able to say what happened to them. And I want that person to be able to go out in public and say, hey, man, these people changed my life. I can change your life. And then they change someone's life too, okay? Pay this shit for it, man. Do the right fucking thing, dude. You can do more than you realize. Anybody can be anything they fucking want short of me being an NBA player or you being a major league bas baseball pitcher. Be realistic with your goals. When it comes to a career, you can be anything you want to be, dude. I sound super corny right now. Whatever, I don't care. Thank you, Tony. Oh, 
Oh. God almighty. Fucking moonshine. Ooh. All right. Danny Corner says, I'm 49. I'll be 50. My goal is to leave. But before I'm 50, my goal is to leave my full-time job. Working towards every day. You're the bad motherfucker, Danny Deep Pockets. Thank you, sir. I'll see you at the retirement party in Vegas at Juan Maciedo. Yes, sir. You better be there, brother. We're going to have a fucking party, dude. Mark D, teaching people how to fish. That's damn right, Mark. I can teach you how to fish. I ain't going to lead you to the water anymore, okay? I ain't going to hold the rod for you. I ain't going to flick the, flick the file back and forth. I need you to do that for yourself. Liam Tierney, bullpen catcher, dream job, MLB salary, and a chill all damn day. Bro, Liam, exactly. The second, the next best job in pro sports is a backup quarterback. You get to sit there and hold a clipboard and make a million bucks. Fuck you. Yes, sir, I think I will. You're not allowed to hit me either? Hell yeah. Hey, Tony, coronavirus, uh, can I say it? Where's a, where's a mask and stay six feet away when I'm in three feet? Bill Ash, congratulations, Keith. Sorry about tomorrow. Andrew Shaw. Ha! <laughs> dude, fucking Bill Ash gets it, bro. I said, sorry, Andrew. Let's go, dude. All right, one more. Let's get it. What, what are we drinking? Um, oh, my God. I don't know what to drink. I'm going to get ruined. Whatever I drink. Damn, this is a tough call. Let me break out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do some of the high proof stuff. Let's do some of the high proof stuff for Bill Ash because he didn't. You know, he did the fifty bucks, right? This is Broken Barrel whiskey. It's one hundred sixteen proof, limited edition, limited release, cask, wooden barrels, and sherry, bourbon whiskey. Okay. Um, this shit kicks like a mule, and we shall. Thank you, Bill. Ah. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, God almighty. There's no way I'm doing anything tomorrow. Who you got? Bengals or Rams? Um... You know the emotions say Ram, uh, the emotions say Bengals. The the brain says Rams, and I got to go with the brain. Hope Sandega, I could gift a Picasso local drink from Peru. Oh, absolutely, Juan Pablo, bro. If you can come to America, hang out and 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 hang out in Vegas with us, if you ever get the chance, dude. Absolutely, I'll gladly take a drink from you. I want to send you a bottle of Red Breast. Hit me up on uh, hit me up on Discord, Carolina Keith underscore one, and we can talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, existence says sherry aged equals money signs, money signs, money signs. Yeah, man, that's what happens when rich people get money. You start spending it on liquor. Not I, wasn't that much. <laughs> uh, I'm only sticking to the low alcohol stuff tonight. Ah, yes. Let's <laughs> yeah, see what happens when the ball starts rolling downhill. All right, so let's get the Juno. Did you already know? Juno Minerals? Or is Juno a crypto? Nope, Juno Minerals. All right. Oh, man, look at that gap up on Juno. Ooh, I like this. So I don't like that gap. I believe that's going to come back and close, but I like that this thing formed a big bottom here, okay? Ooh, goodness. I'm feeling that damn, I'm feeling that damn liquor. Goodness, I got to control myself here. So, so we bounced off of R3. R2 is where the gap is. So it looks like this is coming back toward uh, 13 cent. If that's the case, 13 cent flat. If that's the case, that's a good buy in my opinion. I buy 13 cents here based on support alone. Even though the chart's choppy, this is a low volume stock. I would like to see this hold 13 cents flat. And if it does, I may get in this myself because these low volume stocks move really fast. Uh, ENZC. ENZC. Not a coin. ENZC. Enzolytics. All right. Enzolytics has got a bit of a downtrend going here and hasn't broken yet. See that? A lot of higher high, lower highs and lower lows. Just straight downtrend. So this is going to be a no, and it's going to be a no based on the fact that it hasn't broken trend yet. FFF. 
Forbidden Foods Limited. Uh, it's going to be a no for, for them too as well. Um, let's see the fibs here because this looks like a golden pocket. This is the bottom and that's the top. Believe it or not, some of you guys are probably on here going, oh my God, Keith just gets drunk and he can't understand what he's doing. Incorrect, sir. If I get drunk, I actually pay more attention to what I'm doing instead of missing. Just like this right here. I would have missed this had I not been drinking a little bit. But this bounced off to 786 and is currently trying to break back over the, 60, uh, the 68 zone. If this can capture 98, 19 cent, break and hold 19 cent forbidden foods, break and hold 19 cent forbidden foods, and I will be happy to send some money over there to you on uh, Charles Schwab Street Smart. I like this one. KNC, oh, Juno, USD on Coin Trader. Mm -hmm. It's not there yet, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, you you know what? Thank you, sir. Juan Losada. Thank you, brother. This is a banger. Look at this shit, dude. The RSI is just about overbought right now, and the MACD has turned up. That's cool. But yeah, this thing is on a clear breakout and a clear parabolic run. Very nice looking chart, sir. Uh, thank you for pointing this out, and I almost missed that. Drunk or sober, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> thank you, Ronan. <laughs> uh, Farmer Food Finance for the FFF ticker. Wrong chart, sorry. Oh, okay, I'll try to look again. Farmer Food Finance. Food. Not pulling up, bro. Not pulling up. Farmer Brothers Company. That's a different one, I think. I don't think that's the correct one. I can't find the chart for it right now. Um, MNW, which is Morpheus Network. M -N -W, MNW. Reason Nick, reason Nick is asking about this one is because they got nodes coming out, and he's I think he's looking to get into a node. Yeah, that's an awful looking chart, bro. God. MNW. MNW. Morpheus Network. <clears throat> All right. So if we look at it this way, it looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Uh, I don't like the fact that it's falling so hard. So far. Oh, shit, Ken. I'll take a shot with you. I'm drinking Wild Turkey Long Branch. Cheers to early retirement. Fuck it. Let's go, Ken. I'm over here sweating like crazy, by the way, y'all. Jesus, dude. <sighs> All right, Ken. Fire me up. Turn me on. Turn me loose. Turn me on. Turn me loose. Blue. Oh, so lonesome for you. This is what happens when Keith gets drunk. Start singing Leanne Rhymes. Oh, there you go, Ken. That was for you, brother. I'll see you on the Zoom afterwards. It's probably at quote unquote work. All right. Um. Damn, I'm getting trashed. This is ridiculous. Yeah, Morpheus set where it looks terrible, Nick. I know you're trying to get in and get that note. So you got to do what you got to do. I understand that. KNC USD. Ooh, KNC looks great. Whoever brought this up, yes. It's a little bit of a lower high. RSI is overbought. But man, this is one of the few that's on a run right now. And you know what? KNC was one of the ones who broke out first back in the day also. You've got a double bottom right here. One, two. Uh, it's broken the pivot. It's over R1. If this can get over this line here. Uh, that would be a big move. And if they can get over that line, then you're looking at flipping resistance into support. Flip resistance into support, and then we could talk about making a higher high. Make a higher high, that's awesome, because that higher high would put us into all-time high territory. As you see, the KNC chart is nothing but a big head and shoulders. You see that, folks? Get this off of here. You can see a little better. The entire KNC chart is just a big head and shoulders. Ooh! inverse head and shoulders that is going to go that is going to go running like forrest gump folks that's going to run right up through eventually that's going to run right up through this is a beautiful cup and handle as well 
Maybe you argue that this isn't a this is not a uh, a head and shoulders. Are you going to argue this is a cup and handle? And it's going to make that move up just like that. Boy, maybe not the timing. Like I said, my timing sucks. I'll be the first to tell you I have bad timing. But this is a good looking chart on KNC right here. I like this a lot. KNC, and that means Kava as well. Let's look at Kava. We noticed that these charts run really, really, really close to each other. Not perfect, but close. As you see, Kava is not as good. It's not a buy right now. Um, interestingly enough, it's not as good as the KNC chart. That just disproves exactly what I said. Cosmos. I have no idea how I'm going to make it through this soon after this. Oh, boy. That's going to be rough. Um, Adam. Yeah, thank you, Frank. I appreciate it, brother. Fucking Russian bots, bro. All right. Cosmos. Right now, it's short. Thing is, it bounced off of support. And I'm still in the profits here on this one. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? MACD is down. RSI is down. It's over 40, but under 50. So it's probably sideways or down here. That's my first brain inclination. So I'm going to say sideways or down for Adam. No go right now. UFO. That's off. That's off. UFO. UFO Gaming has flipped over the 821 and is trying to become a buy. So you know what? Just in the limited data I have in this one, this one looks good. So let me circle this UFO. I like it. Um, all right. PSIT. I don't have one for PSIT. BGX, that's Verge. All right. This one is nasty, gnarly, bad looking. It's trying to break over the AEMA, but it hasn't done it yet. All the indicators are buried. And it's trying to flip back bullish, but it hasn't quite done it yet. So be careful here. This is a bull flag, but we haven't seen the confirmation just yet. We want to see it get back up over roughly. What number is this? $2.20. Break $2.20, and then we can talk bread. But until then, no thank you. H bar and C of CRV. Dude, I'm getting, I'm, my words are slurring hardcore. I'm trying so hard to enunciate my words correctly. What's up, Terry? Good to see you, brother. Terry's here. We can finally get started. <laughs> yeah, uh, H bar is still in its solid downtrend. It hasn't broken yet. I, f you know, Feelings aside, this looks like it's trying to break trend and create at least a lower high up here somewhere. So H bar might not be a bad play here either. All the indicators are turning in the right direction, but it needs to break the pivot, which is about 25 cents. So little by little, let's be careful here. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. Let's do gold and silver. I don't know why Leanne Rhymes hit me in the head, but all of a sudden started singing Leanne Rhymes. That's what happens when you have a little, that's what happens when you have a little whiskey, bro. All of a sudden that shit hits you and the spirit moves you and you got to start singing. Gold, still a little short. It's not quite time yet. Uh, it's under the pivot. It's under the trend line. Not quite time just yet, okay? Pace yourself. Use your reason, okay? 103 people still on here. Thank you all 103 of you guys. Y'all are badasses. 81 likes. We need 19 more likes to break 100. If you're watching and you haven't hit like yet, please go hit like. Let's see if we can get 100 likes, man. I think 100 likes puts us in a different algorithm, which moves us up the chain a little bit. We're at like 6,700 subscribers. I'd really like to see 10 grand soon. I have 10,000 Twitter subscribers. I'd really like 10,000 YouTube subscribers to match that evenly, okay? I know Google's different from Twitter. I get that, but it'd be cool if they matched. So uh, gold here, not quite. It's close. It's close, but it's not quite there. Silver, XAG. Same exact chart for silver. Silver looks a tad worse, so no thank you on silver either. Still close, but not there. Let's look at ohm real quick because I said I would. 
Oh, boy, this is going to be bad. I don't know if I'm going to look at it or not. Oof. In the words of Andrew, oh, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Um, God, Jesus, this looks bad. Uh, you know, as bad as this is, it's still not a buy just yet. Oh, my God, that's awful. I, I want to tell you to buy, but I can't. This looks awful. It's still no go on. Um, Jesus, dude. That thing is getting slaughtered. All right, spin, math of spin. Not on there. Spindle or is it spin top? I don't know which one that is. Um, definitely not looking that up, Ken. That's a scam. Um, fake book, aka Meta, took a BFD today. Yeah, you know what? Real quick, let's go through something else because a couple a couple tech stocks absolutely took it right in the chocolate starfish today. And if you don't know what a chocolate starfish, that's a that's a a youthful reference toward assholes or buttholes, as some of you kids call it, because you don't like to say the word ass because you think it's so bad. Facebook took it right in the dick today. Like it took an absolute Kim Kardashian, Kanye West dick punch right here huge gap down okay this is what happens when you try to catch a falling knife paypal was a sale back in september 9th Ooh la la like on back to the future part two Ooh la la Ooh la la yeah sale right there god almighty september 16th was the actual sale jesus dude if you had sold this and shorted it you'd be all in the fucking money you'd be rolling around bathing in a hundred dollar bills wiping your asses with 20s and using $10 bills as tissue paper, folks, tissue paper. Hey, y'all, nine more likes. If you haven't liked, please go hit like. We need nine more to break 100. How badass would that be? Any chocolate starfish shirts out yet? Not yet, sh not yet shorty, but I think it's a good idea. Spin top, Ian, got you, brother. Oh, Ian from the class. Good to see you, Ian, brother. Sorry, I'm a way more drunk than I was before the class. I had nothing to drink before the class and now and then, yeah, this is all short right now. It, under the 8 and 21, MACD pointing down, RSI facing down, fibs doesn't look good. I can tell you by without even pulling them up, they don't look good. Pivots, I bet you don't look good either. Uh, the cloud gnarly, looks ugly. No, thank you. Nothing good about that chart at all. Uh, Keith, no room for feelings in investing. Also, Keith, my feelings, I know Ronan, it's not anything to do with the charts though. Uh, I don't have any feelings about the charts. It's just feelings personally. So, um, hey, Keith, what do you think of PYR, Vulcan Forge? All right, PYR. PY, PYR, USD. Oh, yeah. This is a good looking call one because it's close. It's really, really close. It's over the pivot, over the eight, over the 21. It's right on the edge. This looks better than most. It may be sideways, but at least it's sideways above bullish indicators. PYR. Mark, mark that too. I like the way this one looks. It's a good looking chart. All right. So UFO and PYR are the better looking ones tonight. The ones I've marked out. T shares. I think I have to do coin trader for this one, but I want to try. It ain't going to work. Oh, there it is. Okay, T-shares. And you know what? This one's, it's making a bit of a, no, nah, you know what? No, 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 no. This one hit take profits. And even though it's got some, no, nah, that's just standard divergence, standard convergence. No, T-shares short right now. It bounced off the pivot. It's failing the 821. I like this one to come back down to 4,200. Or if it can hold 4,800, that would be good too. But, those numbers, 4,800, 4,200 on Tomb Share. Uh, we already did VGX, didn't we? Yeah, we already did VGX. Um, <laughs> Frank said, where's your car at, dude? Oh, four more likes, but we got four minutes. Four likes, four minutes. Come on, 96 people liked, 99 people commented, 99 people watching. Four more likes, y'all, please. Four more likes. That'd be awesome. Um, So real quick. Um, we got four minutes left. That gives me a minute to talk. Three more likes. Come on, three likes, y'all. Let's go. 
I never thought my life would be where it is, okay? I'm going to do a retrospect video with me and my cousin here soon where uh, I drive around. I'm going to take you to the places where I'm from. I'm going to take you to the old neighborhoods where I used to live in. I'm going to drive you to the houses that I used to live in. Two more likes, y'all. Two more likes. Come on. I'm going to take one more. 99 people watching, 99 likes. One more like. Come on, somebody. Whoever you are, hit that like button one time, please. But 102. Let's fucking go. That requires a shot, sir. Let's go with the Jameson. Bro, I'm going to be so useless tomorrow. Jameson Black, bro. Thank you, everybody. 106 likes. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, I spilt that one down my damn lip. Shoo. Oh my God. All right. This is awesome. 108 likes. Y'all are badass, dude. Look, man, I never, I never thought I'd be here. Um, I'm going to take you around and, sh and show you where I come from, what I'm really about, where I was born, where I grew up and where I've come to. I want to show everybody the truth about me, the real me, the real world. Okay. No, no, no bullshit. The Twitter sphere and the crypto space is so full of bullshit. I want to keep it a hundred percent real with everybody. Okay. I want to show you everything that I can about who the real, who real me is. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that. That's coming up soon. Like I said, two more weeks and I'm done with the quote unquote corporate job. Um, those people are nice, but I got to take a chance on me. So once this video happens, you'll see more about how I grew up the places where I'm from, the things I've seen, the things I've done, the mistakes I've made. I want to talk about it all, okay? Little by little by little. And once we get all that compiled together, we'll make a really cool video for everybody. After that, um, we'll do a KYCC video, which is Know Your Content Creator. We'll do that for everybody. We'll have that done. Then, for all you European guys out there that watch and never get a chance to hang out on the live streams, we're going to make us a European time, okay? A time for the European streams where I can have all the European guys watch and it'll be during the daytime. So everyone can come in and watch the, the stream, not necessarily on Crypto After Dark. We'll make an entire new graphic and layout and backdrop for the stream that won't be Crypto After Dark. It'll be something separate, okay? I haven't quite figured out what I want to do just yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? It's 11.59. I can't thank y'all enough, okay? I don't fully understand how this all happened. Again, it it messes with my mind. I'm not sure how we got here, but we're here. And I thank every single one of y'all every single day. Dude, it makes me want to cry thinking about how life has came along, okay? Like me thinking about this retrospect video that I'm going to make and this origin video, whatever you want to call it, me thinking about where I've came from and where I'm at, it scares me. It scares me because... Of the success it doesn't scare me because of failure it scares me because of success because i was born into failure i've lived failure and i know failure yet here we are succeeding and you got to understand that my mindset even though i tell people to change their mindset to the correct mindset even me it affects okay even me i have a hard time understanding what what's going on yet here we are so thank y'all everybody i love all y'all man thank y'all Andrew, if you're still up, you're probably not. I'll see you in the morning at uh, 8 o'clock. I'll be leaving the house at about 5.30, which means I'm getting up in a few hours. Fuck them. That's how we do the real world. Thank you all. I swear to God, man, y'all are awesome. This is uh, it's overwhelming, man. It's, over, it's really overwhelming. Thank y'all. I'll leave y'all with this in the words of the late, great, notorious B.I.G. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, man, but y'all right here with me. I appreciate that shit. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all on the next stream, y'all.